how to get the results you want. The principal reasons for failure are, lack of confidence and too much effort. Many people block answers to their prayers by failing to fully comprehend the workings of their subconscious mind. When you know how your mind functions, you gain a measure of confidence. You must remember whenever your subconscious mind accepts an idea, it immediately begins to execute it. It uses all its mighty resources to that end and mobilizes all the mental and spiritual laws of your deeper mind. This law is true for good or bad ideas. Consequently, if you use it negatively, it brings trouble, failure, and confusion. When you use it constructively, it brings guidance, freedom, and peace of mind. The right answer is inevitable when your thoughts are positive, constructive, and loving. From this it is perfectly obvious that the only thing you have to do in order to overcome failure is to get your subconscious to accept your idea or request by feeling its reality now. And the law of your mind will do the rest. Turn over your request with faith and confidence, and your subconscious will take over and answer for you. You will always fail to get results by trying to use mental coercion. Your subconscious mind does not respond to coercion. It responds to your faith or conscious mind acceptance. Your failure to get results may also arise from such statements as Things are getting worse. I will never get an answer. I see no way out. It is hopeless. I don't know what to do. I'm all mixed up. When you use such statements, you get no response or cooperation from your subconscious mind. Like a soldier marking time. You neither go forward nor backward. In other words, you don't get anywhere. 95. If you get into a taxi and give half dozen different directions to the driver in five minutes, he would become hopelessly confused and probably would refuse to take you anywhere. It is the same way. Working with your subconscious mind, there must be a clear-cut idea in your mind. You must arrive at a definite decision that there is a way out, a solution to the vexing problem and sickness. Only the infinite intelligence within your subconscious knows the answer. When you come to that clear-cut conclusion in your conscious mind, your mind is then made up, and according to your belief is it done. Until you. Easy does it. A house owner once remonstrated with a furnace repairman for charging $200 for fixing the boiler. The mechanic said, I charged 5 cents for the missing bolt and $199.95 for knowing what was wrong. Similarly, your subconscious mind is the master mechanic, the allies, who knows ways and means of healing any organ of your body, as well as through effects. sustain this mood. 
you shall experience the joy of the answered prayer the three steps to success in prayer the usual procedure is as follows 1 take a look at the problem 2 turn to the solution or way out known only to the subconscious mind 3 rest in a sense of deep conviction that it is done do not weaken your prayer by saying i wish i might be healed i hope so your feeling about the work to be done is the boss harmony is yours know that health is yours become intelligent by becoming a vehicle for the infinite healing power of the subconscious mind pass on the idea of health to your subconscious mind to the point of conviction then relax get yourself off your hands say to the condition and circumstance this too shall pass through relaxation you impress your subconscious mind enabling the kinetic energy behind the idea to take over and bring it into concrete realization 97 the law of reversed effort and why you get the opposite of what you pray for Ku a the famous psychologist from france who visited america about 40 years ago defined the law of reversed effort as follows when your desires and imagination are in conflict your imagination invariably gains the day if for example you were asked to walk a plank on the floor you would do so without question now suppose the same plank were placed 20 feet up in the air between two walls would you walk it your desire to walk it would be counteracted by your imagination or fear of falling your dominant idea which would be the picture of falling would conquer your desire will or effort to walk on the plank would be reversed and the dominant idea of failure would be reinforced mental effort is invariably self-defeating eventuating always in the opposite of what is desired the suggestions of powerlessness to overcome the condition dominate the mind your subconscious is always controlled by the dominant idea your subconscious will accept the stronger of two contradictory propositions the effortless way is the better if you say i want a healing but i can't get it i try so hard i force myself to pray i use all the willpower i have you must realize that your error lies in your effort never try to compel the subconscious mind to accept your idea by exercising willpower such attempts are doomed to failure and you get the opposite of what you prayed for the following is a rather common experience students when taking examinations and reading through their papers find that all their knowledge has suddenly deserted them their minds become appalling blanks and they are unable to recall a relevant thought the more they grit their teeth and some moan the powers of the will the further the answer seem to flee but when they have left the 98 examination room and the mental pressure relaxes and the answer today were seeking flow tantalizingly back into their minds trying to force themselves to remember what they call this is an example of the law of reversed effort whereby you get the opposite of what you ask or pray for the conflict of desire and imagination must be reconciled concentrated on the means to overcome a problem, it is no longer concerned with the obstacle. Now, 1819 says, if to you shall agree no purpose to do anything that they shall ask of you, shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. Who are these? Two. It means the harmonious union or agreement between you. conscious and subconscious on any idea, desire, or memory. by entering into a drowsy, sleepy state which brings all effort to a The conscious mind submerged to a great extent in a sleepy state. The best time to regulate your subconscious is prior to sleep. The reason for this is that the highest degree of outcropping of the subconscious occurs prior to sleep and just after we awaken. In this state the negative 
thoughts and imagery, which tend to neutralize. Your desire and so prevent acceptance by your subconscious mind no longer present themselves. When you imagine the reality of the fulfilled desire and feel the thrill of accomplishment, your subconscious brings about the realization of your desire.